it's an anthology of lots of different stories. It's very black mirrory. So it's um, these self-contained stories about women in extraordinary circumstances. Uh, some are funny and some are weird and some are dark. But this one, I think, is more like a comedy drama, isn't it? So yeah, it's um, it's called the woman who returned her husband. Yeah, and you literally you literally do that. I literally do that because um, in the world that I live in, if you've kept the receipt, you can take them back. <laughs> <laughs> and whenever I mention that to any of my girlfriends, they'll go, when can we move there? <laughs> um, no, but um, yeah, so she's, you know, she's just turned 60. She suddenly her mortality is catching up with her. She's in that stage of a relationship, which happens in a lot of long term relationships where you, you're sort of invisible to each other and you've forgotten yeah, yeah. who each other are. And she's desperate for a change. And when one of her friends says, well, if you've got the receipt, she goes, do you know what? I'm going to do it. So she takes him back to the shop, which looks a little bit like Costco. There's a husband's it aisle. It's amazing. <laughs> it's such a clever story to be had. Such a clever story. And um, you're right, it is complex. And, you know, it will be so easy to go, yeah, just take him back and that's it, start again. But actually, Actually, the point of the story is that Anu thinks the grass is greener. Anu's the name of the, the lady I play. But, of course, she goes on quite a journey through. Yeah. And it's quite unexpected, the ending. But really, I thought, very touching, actually. But, I mean, the part of Anu was a dream because it had the whole range. You know, it is very funny. The writing's brilliant. Young young South Asian writer called Vera Santa Maria. What a script. Um, but, so you go the whole gamut from somebody that is invisible and sad and, and who, you know then becomes this little butterfly, you know, yeah. that comes out of her horrible, sad little, you know, grubby stage. And so you go through that whole journey and some bits are absolutely tragic and some bits are very funny. So I jumped yeah. on the script when I saw it. I thought, wow, when do you get a chance to play all of these emotions in one it's, thing? 